Canopy is made of thick branches and lots and lots of leaves. Did you know that leaves and branches are packed so tightly that very little water comes through? Oh yeah, it is so dense that not much sunlight comes through either. The canopy is kind of like a roof of the rainforest. Lots of plants and animals live there, like collar monkeys, spider monkeys, tree frogs, iguanas, bromeliads, and snakes. The drip tip is our long, sharp, pointed tip on some rainforest leaves. The tip allows water to flow down. There is so much rain, the leaves have to get rid of it quickly. If there was no drip tip, the water would build up on the leaf and it would break. Green iguanas are very fascinating creatures. Did you know that they have powerful legs so it makes it easier to climb and swim? Male iguanas have large scales under their ears. Also, green iguanas have spikes along their back and a large dewlap under their chin, kind of like a rooster's chin. They live in the canopy and the understory. When they need to escape a predator, they just drop down from a tree. They can fall 40 to 50 feet without getting hurt. Then amazingly, they can go super fast thanks to those incredible legs. Bromeliads have lots of cool adaptations. Do you want to know where they grow? Good, they grow on a thick branch way up in the canopy. Imagine a plant living on a branch. How can they do that? Well, their waxy leaves grow very tight to form a bowl shape in the center for catching rainwater. These rainwater tanks make homes for thousands of insects, animals, frogs, and even a kind of crab. Also, when the animals or insects that live in them die, they decompose and give the plant its nutrients. Did you know that poison dart frogs want to be seen? Poison dart frogs want to be seen so other animals know that they are poisonous. They have strong poison on their skin. It is strong enough to kill huge animals, even a jaguar. They are bright blue, yellow, green, or red. Some live in the canopy and some live on the forest floor. Some poison dart frogs have adapted to live inside a bromeliad's water tank. Emerald tree boas live in trees in the canopy. They are nocturnal and sleep during the day. Then at night they sneak up on sleeping animals like a sloths. It wraps itself around its prey and squeezes it to death. Emerald tree boas can dislocate their jaw and swallow animals whole. Sloths are very slow. They spend most of their time alone and can stay in the same tree for years. Most of their life is spent hanging upside down. They move so slow that green moss grows on their hair. Some moss and insects spend their whole life in this lost pearl. Do you know what the emergent layer is? I do, and I'm going to tell you about it. First, it's called the emergent layer because trees that exist up there emerge from the canopy because they need sunlight to survive, which under the canopy does not have. Did I mention it is very windy up in the emergent layer so that the tree trunks can get to be 16 feet around and 300 feet high? A nickname for the emergent layer could be the attic of the rainforest. You are probably wondering what the animals of the emergent layer are. Well, there are sloths, eagles, monkeys, bats, and birds. The harpy eagle is an amazing creature. Come with me and you will understand what I mean. Harpy eagles have a wonderful wingspan of seven feet. Harpy eagles nest in the top of kapok trees and go to the canopy to hunt. Oh, and by the way, the harpy eagle eats monkeys, sloths, and other birds. Harpy eagles have sharp hooked beaks to rip up their prey. Pretty gruesome, huh? Harpy eagles can weigh up to 18 pounds. Another amazing fact is that harpy eagles can fly 50 miles per hour. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, now you understand why I say that they are amazing. Do you know how rainforests make their own clouds? I do, and I'm going to tell you about it. So it's like a rain machine in the rainforest. When it stops, the leaves are packed with moisture, so they let out a type of mist that floats right up to the emergent layer. After all of the misty moisture from the leaves and plants floats up to the emergent layer, it slowly turns into white, fluffy clouds. 
Finally, when the clouds have formed, it rains and rains again. That's how the rainforest makes their own clouds. Nearly half of the animals and insects that live in the rainforest only come out at night. They are nocturnal. Moths and flies are very active, so are bats, frogs, and snakes. Mammals like the kinkajou, tapir, and armadillo come out at night. Of course, all this nighttime activity also brings out the rainforest's big predators. Jaguars are really good swimmers and jumpers. They live on the forest floor in the understory. They sleep during the day and hunt at night. They use their whiskers to help feel things in the dark. Jaguars are very good eyesight at night. Their hearing also helps in the dark. Jaguars' paws help it to run silently. They have spots to blend in the leaves. Their claws get food f when they swipe at animals and fish. A jaguar's sharp teeth can kill animals in one bite. They are the fiercest predator in the rainforest.